no, the angle is so weird. Yay, hello. Kind of better, not perfect, but hello, girls. What's up? Welcome in a new vlog. This is gonna be a reading vlog, no read it on, etc. etc. Uh, so, yeah, but first, I have an unboxing like a tiny unboxing because I ordered a book. I think this is the first book I got in May, but I feel like this is the only one I bought so far, but I got so many books from bookish boxes that I feel like I'm actually lying when I said that's the only book I bought but it's technically not but at the same time technically it is but mm, never mind I'm just gonna show you the book I'm super 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 excited about it because this is a chunky book okay so first I'm gonna show you um, the bookmark when it comes to reading, I do it by the book. Yeah, I love it. It's simple, but I love it at the same time. Then the paper that comes with the book every single time, and then the book. Yes. So I got Middle Game by Shannon Maguire. Who is Shannon Maguire? She's the author of the Wayward Children series. So yes, I had to try something else uh, written by her and I wanted to read another series by her, but I was like, yeah, maybe I should try something new, you know, Oop. because maybe her style, her writing style changed with time and she is actually like doing better now than before and I don't want to be, uh, like disappointed or whatever so i got this one who sounds amazing and there is a little like spacey ship do you say a spacey ship not a spaceship duh it's simple over here and it is chunky like 400 something oh a little over 500 pages and it's tiny fonts uh so yeah and no space in between sentences so that's gonna be a challenge to read but hopefully it's so good and you can see here all the books she has written uh, so it's like quite a lot actually and I've read only the Wayward Children series um, but this one is the last one I have so many others that I need to read but it says here, Master Fantasist Shannon McGuire introduces readers to an America run in the shadows by the Alchemical Congress, a powerful society focused on transmuting reality itself. Meet Roger. Skilled with words, languages come easily to him. He instinctively understands how the word works through the power of story. Meet Dodger, his twin. Numbers are her world her obsession, her everything. All she understands, she does so through the power of math. Roger and Dodger aren't exactly human, though they don't realize it. They aren't exactly goats either. Not entirely, not yet. Meet Reed, skilled in the alchemical arts like his progenitor before him. Reed created Dodger and her brother. He's not the father, not quite. But he has a plan to raise the twins to the highest power, to ascend with them and claim their authority as his own. Godhood is attainable. Pray it isn't attained. I mean, I'm all in for, for that and I really wanted to read something else by her. Oh, V. Schwab said something. Every Heard the Doorway by Sean Maguire is one of the most extraordinary story. I've ever read. Yeah, but you're not talking about... Oh, Becky Chambers said, Maguire has an uncanny knack for taking the worst things that lurk in the shadows and wearing them into an absolute delight. And she says that about middle game. So we'll see about that, but I'm super, super excited about it. So yeah, I'm finally gonna read a book that I actually bought. And I mean, there is another one I need to buy. And that's what... Okay, first... I got a package here uh, that I'm probably gonna unbox on Friday or maybe earlier this week but I have I still have three unboxings I need to edit and upload but this one is a wicked creature so I will put the link to the website down below yeah to the website and you will find the Instagram blah 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 I bought this box because wicked creatures like I love the name and because the logo is actually a wolf and she calls her community the back so I was like 
okay i'm gonna get that box and see what it is and i'm super super excited i don't know if this is actually the box or if there is a box inside that box but i don't think so no i feel the items here on the side so the box got destroyed by the post but that's nothing unusual but hopefully i will be unboxing this soon i just don't want to do it now no it's almost 9 pm and um i'm still dressed etc i haven't started to relax you know but Mooney is actually she's sleeping like a baby so yeah but i will try to unbox this one uh is set maybe tomorrow i don't know i don't know and i was thinking about unsubscribing from a few boxes and just get the boxes when i feel like i'm gonna love the book like or if i'm really interested in the book and not just a little bit or if i'm really interested in some kind of items in a box or whatever so I love boxes, don't get me wrong, but first money and second I don't use all the items I get in boxes so they're just sitting there and I don't like that but also um, I want to start again doing um, reviews of books and I don't want to make reviews or film reviews about books that everyone has read and you can find like 10,000 of reviews online and i would like to get back to buying the books that i'm actually interested in reading and not the one i got forced to read like forced to read it's not like i'm forced but that's the book i'm actually getting in my box so i think i should do that i'm still like unsubscribing for the box is like a big deal because i don't want to do it because i love getting boxes but i feel that i'm also like drowning you because i have so many boxes and whenever i film them like i film the unboxings i have too many unboxings to show you all at once so or maybe i should just i don't know what to do actually it doesn't mean that i won't get it again just that i will not get every single box if that makes any sense so it's gonna be like a one-time purchase every single time i don't know actually i don't know yeah life is tough sometimes or maybe i could do some unboxings in my vlogs hmm huh. maybe i could do that i'm gonna ask you on instagram what you think of it and on booktube hmm okay i'm gonna do that uh talk to you later walls i'm not gonna do anything tonight i think i'm gonna watch the last episode of game of thrones just because yesterday i tried to watch it and after 30 minutes i was so bored that i was like okay let's go to bed so yeah so i'm probably gonna do that and maybe try another episode of the society and uh maybe upload a video i don't know i have so many videos that are already ready so if you have too many videos of mine i'm so sorry i just need to start fresh kind of thing yeah oh definitely i need to edit the wrap up oh i need to upload the wrap up i think it's already been up uh, edited never mind bye walls talk to you later hello all so today is thursday and i'm updating you today because i'm not a booktuber i'm not a vlogger kind of thing but whatever i'm making myself some food so i have some salads ready i have some bread with some uh jam rose hip jam yeah from bosnia i'm also waiting on my soup to warm up and then i'm gonna I think watch an episode of The Society, which I'm addicted to. I really love the concept, actually. And Didi wants to say hello. Say hello, Diazo. Hello. Hello. Yeah, she's here, and Muni is actually eating a treat over there, and I don't know where Igloo is. Uh, but yeah, so I don't have much time, but I will try to eat slowly not to get sick after that and uh watch an episode or whatever and then i'm gonna leave and um i need to do some stuff but also we worked on some 
stuff for this time to Nebu Club and Francesca and I and I think it's gonna get like so funny um, and very entertaining and you're gonna have like a community feelings whatever you're gonna see it it's gonna be very very good and um, I cannot talk much about it because we have a schedule etc etc so yes we're getting organized oh my soup is making a weird noise wait oh no it's okay but it's over okay it's warm up so oh you can see how hot I am but I need pepper because I cannot eat my soup without pepper Huh, I'm gonna wear it all good. Okay, professional here. Pray for me. <laughs> but yeah, so I was saying that, and also I almost DNF'd a book today. I'm still gonna try to give it a chance tomorrow to finish it. This is the Dread Nation uh, for the Triple R, for the RRR. I don't know, that's the mix of the Quarterly Club from G and Order uh, Booktubers and the Book in a Jar. The two book clubs merged and became RRR, so they're reading Dread Nation, which I'm not enjoying so far just because I love the concept, I love the story behind it, I love the main characters as well, but I find it boring so far. And I'm on chapter 10, something like that, 10, 11, so I don't know, I might as well DNF it or maybe keep it for later. Um, yeah, I feel like I started two books this month and I DNF the first one and I'm probably gonna DNF the second one so it really means that I think I need a break from reading or maybe I should just read like whatever I want whenever I want like check my bookshelves and be like okay you I want to read you and that's it no pressure and no timing and not I have to because of that book club or blah 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 <sighs> I have enough with my two book clubs, uh, if that makes any sense, and all the other stuff I want to be a member of, you know, yeah. So now I'm gonna like eat and watch something, watch the society. Yeah, and I also try to start Nocturna, Nocturna, Nocturna. I always want to say Nocturna, no. Um, so for the free loots read along, but I'm really not in a mood for that. Like having a schedule, like chapter 10 to 12 for Tuesday, then for Wednesday, you know, reading every single day, having that kind of schedule is just a mood killer for me. And especially because I'm a mood reader and especially because I'm super busy and I read mostly during the weekend. That's it. Uh, I really need to eat or I'm gonna fall down. Oh, that ankle was horrible actually I'm so sorry yeah never mind it's not like you never have weird or ugly angles of myself nothing new nothing else I still need to unbox the um, wicked creatures box and I'm gonna try to figure out a schedule for the unboxings because even me when I like I uploaded two unboxings yesterday and two days before that two unboxings as well and I have one two three four four unboxings left and I'm just like I'm annoyed uh, I love unboxings extra but I don't like seeing so many in a row on my feed and I'm so sorry if it's boring if you hate me for that I'm so sorry but I'm still trying to figure out a way not to be that boring and I was thinking and I asked you on Instagram if I should maybe add some unboxings to my vlogs which I really like the idea because it's more chill and you don't have like as many unboxing videos as before but also I love to keep track like when someone wants to know how a box is doing if they're including good items or whatever they love to see specific videos just unboxing videos like that's what I did before subscribing to boxes like I checked like fairy loot for a few months on different channels etc and you know different months and I made my decision after that you know same for 
when I subscribed to Chef Love Create at one point and then when I got a few boxes from Illumi Create, it's dread, it's dread, you know, I love that so it doesn't make sense to put them in my vlogs like if I got the kinder beauty box I will do that in my vlog if I have more like jewelry some from Proline, Proline, I will do that in my vlogs uh, but for the bookish like boxes I don't know I just don't feel like it is the best thing to do but I'm still trying to figure out so if you have any suggestions please feel free to shoot them to me because I need some and as I'm also doing it for you but for me but also for you I would like your input on that so yeah I think that could be the, the solution to a lot of stuff because I will need to buy a new car uh, because like because of my health I when it's hot I don't have hair condition I know it's a luxury etc etc but I pass out a few times on the highway so that's problematic but also because we have that thing in Belgium like you won't be able to drive in Brussels if you don't have a new car so you need to buy a new car in order to be allowed to drive in Brussels and I know Brussels is not the only place where it's actually happening but for that I will need to buy a new car because sometimes I need to go in Brussels to I don't know buy stuff or to go to a doctor my doctor is actually in Brussels like the generalist um, like the main doctor I don't know how you call them generalist like the family doctor kind of thing is in Brussels and I have I also have other stuff or when I go with my grandma to her doctors etc it's in Brussels so I need to buy a new car for that as well so I will subscribe to some boxes um, because money do I need to be clear about that I don't think so but um, yeah so it doesn't mean that I will not be getting any boxes anymore and it's not because I unsubscribe from one box that I will not get that box anymore maybe just there and there when I'm really interested in um, the goodies because the book I, I can still get it somewhere else but for instance for Fairy Lou the only reason why I'm subscribed to them is for the spread edges not for the items so I mean now at the beginning it was for the items as well but now it's only for the spread edges to be honest so and like special covers etc etc so maybe for I wish they had the only book option but never mind okay I'm gonna stop rambling my food my soup is getting cold so talk to you later walls and uh, wish me a happy meal <laughs> no I know you're not supposed to say that okay okay bye walls hello walls just a little update before I go eat because maybe i will then update you later or whatever i just unboxed a box wicked creatures which i'm super 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 excited about so i got a book that i already got in another box because i actually wanted that book so i bought wicked creatures and then it was in another box which i wasn't expecting never mind so i'm gonna be hosting a flash giveaway on uh bookstagram yeah i'm gonna do that on bookstagram yeah i'm gonna do that but i'm gonna do that like today is friday i don't know if i told you that but i will do that next week so you will see uh, me talking about it here on my vlog if you're watching it and i don't know it's gonna be like on wednesday or thursday or whatever it's gonna be a 24 hours uh flash giveaway so you're gonna have 24 hours to enter the giveaway and that's it but for now i'm super super hungry i okay so i love that box i love that box and also i dnf'd uh, dread nation so i started two books this month and i dnf'd both so that probably means that i'm in a reading slump or that i'm trying to read books that i have no interest in which can be the the case for mirage because i had no interest in reading it but wasn't especially for Dread Nation because it sounded like interesting but I I think I'm just gonna stop not force myself to read and if I want to read I'm gonna read and if I want to read I'm gonna read whatever I want so I'm gonna do that that's okay 
but yeah okay um i'm hungry so i'm gonna talk to you later wolf bye hello i'm back told you i will be back but yeah so uh i eat i'm good um okay so i was saying that i will be hosting like a flash giveaway on bookstagram did I say that? Yes, I think I said that. But also tomorrow I'm gonna prep the box I'm gonna be using for my uh, booktube giveaway because in case you don't know, I think you know, uh, but I'm gonna be giving away a box full of goodies I got in bookish boxes. Goodies that I don't especially use or don't want to keep but they are in perfect shape, whatever. I will film a video and show you all the items. Um, also, oh yeah, so I've watched uh, The Society, you know, the show on Netflix and I actually finished it. Um, so yes, you can say that I binge watched so many videos, uh, I mean so many shows, episodes, yeah. And I really, really enjoyed it, like... So I told you it was like a bunch of kids left in a town similar to theirs and they have like nothing, like they don't have any authority or whatever, so they're kind of creating a new society and you can see how they're trying to show you that without any rules, without any system or whatever, you get back to what you know and you kind of need that in order to avoid chaos and kind of things, so... It was really interesting, like, I love that point of view, I love that aspect of things, like, it kind of shows us that we need rules in our lives, we need the police, we need the judge, we need people to clean our garbage, and etc, etc, and without that, it's chaos, without that, you attract animals or diseases, etc, you know what I mean? So it was really interesting, I really loved it, and the kids some kids were like a bit annoying but it was interesting i really love the show so i'm really waiting on season two to come out so yeah i also watched uh, all the episodes of riverdale i just want to say I, I keep watching it because i started that series and i'm like far into it but i have no interest uh, about the characters now it's like boring it's every single time the same thing like it's not boring or annoying i don't know how I'm... i feel like it's like for the throne of glass series i don't care about the characters the story isn't bad uh the plot isn't bad but i just don't care at that point i don't know how come but yeah that's how i feel uh otherwise i think that's it and also i was looking at my shelves my shelves am i I was looking at my shelf and um, there is a book like To Best the Boys that I need to read for the Howling Pack so I was thinking about trying it. I know, I know, earlier I said that I will try not to do so but then after that I was thinking and I was like yeah maybe not because you don't feel like reading and then I looked here and I saw the bear and the nightingale and I was like, okay, I need to read the sequel because I feel like my brain is tired because of last month's readathon and also because I went back home in Boston and then got back here, which I don't like. And I think it was like a lot of stuff going on at the same time, like a read along, a one month long read along is tough on the brain and etc. etc. And then going back home, feeling okay, and then coming back here you know it was like lots of stuff together so I feel like I should read the girl in the tower to get back to that pop fantasy that I love so much that makes me feel home that makes me feel comfortable this is my like comfort zone kind of thing and this is a genre I've been loving for such a long time but I didn't know that it was actually a subgenre so thank you Jade uh, so Jade Ruiz I put her channel down below she hosted the um, part on it was in February if I'm not mistaken February or January I think it was February and we had to pick books uh, for certain prompts etc and it was around power fantasy but you didn't need to read the power fantasy you just needed to read the power fantasy on top of the mountain it was really well done but i tried to read power fantasy for each steps and i 
read the bear and the nightingale and i just felt home and i also read like all the one oh no even the darkest star i should read the sequel is it star of stars yes yeah, stars. even the darkest stories so i will try to read the sequel soon because i really really loved the book so i'm gonna try to do that and especially because the third one is coming out in paperback soon i think in june maybe i don't know I have to watch that on Goodreads. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna try to read something back home, you know, homey, my comfort zone, etc. Something that really is atmospheric and that will like immerse me, like that it will be immersive. Is that a word? Yeah, immersive it is, but that will immerse me. I don't know, but you know what I mean. I will try to do that to get back to it because I really want to. But at the same time, I'm okay with not going back to. I'm gonna leave you here and I will probably like first take a shower, take off that makeup. Uh, oh, by the way, this is from Poraline or Poraline. I should ask her if it is Poraline or Poraline. I love that necklace. Uh, I don't know where is the dragon paw, etc. I have tons of stuff. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna stop now and update you on something else tomorrow yeah this week you really had no reading content kind of thing book content like yeah you had some with mirage or was it last week that i tried to read it but never got to it i don't know but dread nations or dread nation dread nation nation i don't know if it's single or plural um let me check nation okay by just now ireland um it is like Jane McKean was born two days before the dead began to walk the battlefields of Gettysburg and Chancellorsville, derailing the war between the states and changing America forever. In this new nation, safety for all depends on the work of a few, and laws like the Native and Negro Reeducation Act require certain children attend combat schools to learn to put down the dead. But there are also opportunities, and Jane is studying to become an attendant. Trained in both weaponry and etiquette to protect the well-to-do, to protect the well-to-do. Sorry, it's a change for a better life for Negro girls like Jane. After all, not even being the daughter of a wealthy white Southern woman could save her from society's expectations. But that's not the life Jane wants. Almost finished with her education at Miss Preston School of Combat in Baltimore. Jenny is set on returning to her Kentucky home and doesn't pay much mind to the politics of the eastern cities, with the talk of returning America to the glory of its day before the dead rose. But when families around Baltimore County begin to go missing, Jenny is caught in the middle of a conspiracy, and that finds her in a desperate fight for her life against some powerful enemies, and restless death, it will seem, are the least of her problems. It really sounds interesting, it sounds like a girl power. I just don't like the main character's way of talking, way of expressing herself, way of being kind of thing. Like, I don't relate to her, which obviously is the case because we don't have the same history. But it's just like, I don't know, I, I just felt that at the very beginning nothing really happened. Like, stuff happened. But it wasn't like action-packed and I really expected something more from that. And it's really like, I'm pretty sure it's a powerful subject, it's true, but I just don't feel any connection right now. That's maybe because I'm in a reading slump and I need something easy or something homey, so a comfort zone and not something that's very deep and with, you know, that will make you think. So let me know if you've read that book. I tried to read it for the Devil R. Uh, the triple R read, rave, review <laughs> book club but yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna take a shower, drink my tea do something on Netflix or YouTube uh, whatever I will, I will talk to you tomorrow for sure hello all, what's up? hello, can you focus? is it focus? yes it is never mind, uh, so just got back from grocery shopping. I'm currently doing my laundry uh, and I'm doing other stuff like cleaning a bit, etc. etc. But also like um 
what did I want to say? Okay, I need to edit a video because there is an unboxing going live today, but I would like another unboxing to go live as well. So it's done. And after that, well, it was so bright, so sorry. I will have like two unboxings left, I think. And then, ugh. okay, let's go outside maybe. No, it's too hot already. Never mind. Um, too bright. Ah, oh, the battery is dying. I'm gonna try to finish the update here. I'm gonna try to edit the video, to upload it, etc. So it's at the same time than the other one. And then I'm gonna try to hang out a bit on YouTube because I have a lot of video I would like to catch up on. And then after that, I'm gonna try something to read. I don't know, like to make me read. We'll see about that. But yeah, I will probably update you later about something. Whatever, now my battery is actually flashing, so I should do that. Because I noticed that sometimes when the battery is flashing and and then like the camera turned off, then the footage that I was actually filming at that time is just unusable after that. So in case it happened to you, maybe that's the reason. But okay, I will update you later. And yeah, I need coffee. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you something after that. But first, the battery. And I'm already back, so I just changed the battery, but I wanted to show you something. In case you're vegan or you just like some vegan product. No, I'm not forcing you to go vegan. Not at all. But they're doing something. Where are they? Trying to... One, oh, here. Wait, looking at my fresh food, uh, food and non-vegan food, okay? Because people in this house cannot turn vegan. Because you can turn vegan. I don't make any sense. Okay, here, is that okay here? Yeah, let me put you down. Okay, you can kind of see me. You know the cold coffee you can buy at the store, at the grocery shopping, grocery store, whatever? Uh, that Starbucks does, for instance, like cappuccino or whatever. I just found that Afro, so vegan, does it as well. And you have this one, which is Brazilian coffee and almond blend. And this one is Peruvian coffee and coconut blend. I really love the design of the coffee kind of thing. Uh, even if it doesn't really matter. 31 calories, 34 kilocalories. It says here vegan and also like uh, Rainforest Alliance certified. Oh, that's nice. And on the other one as well. Okay, so I'm gonna try one. Which one should I try? Hmm. <gasps> I don't know. I'm a real Libra. Okay, I'm gonna try this one just to see if it's good. So you just have to open it, and here it says shake well, peel back foil, replace drinking lid, sip, savor, enjoy, repeat. Okay. That's not what you're expecting from a booktuber, you know, bookish wise kind of thing. Oh, sm oh it smells, that's the coconut one. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. It's all foamy a little bit, like, of course, I shaked it. Whoa, I think it's gonna rain, but it's super sunny. Oh no, that's a plane, never mind. It's so good. So good, so good. So I'm gonna sip that while I finish cleaning everything and... Sorry, my phone rang. So it's almost 1 p.m. I'm gonna take a breakfast because I haven't yet. And then I'm gonna do whatever and I will update you later. Okay, well, I love you, bye. Okay, well, so I'm finally done with everything I needed to do. So time to relax. I have here my food. I don't know. Let me show you. So some edamame, some soup, some salads, black pepper, salt, like salt. I only use salt on corn and this, that's it. And I wanted to watch some Netflix, but I don't know what to watch actually. I finished The Society, but I told you that. And also I watched uh, something else yesterday. What was it like? I want to see my history. Wait, where can I see? Um, oh yes, The Silence. So I wanted to watch that because it sounded interesting and because this is actually the actor, I mean the actress from Sabrina and also one of her aunt 
were there, never mind. Uh, but it was really interesting at the beginning. I was intrigued, etc. And then the ending, I was just like, what the heck? Like, it's like bird, bird, bird box. Yeah, I wasn't okay with that ending. It was too sharp for me, like, never mind. Uh, but the rest of it was okay. It's like the the story is that one day some people will go like underground and they will like dig something a hole and they will like let out some kind of creatures and the people that will survive are the only one who cannot like who try not to make any noises and so they're going they're trying to escape first and then they're realizing that they cannot, but they can kind of adapt to it. So being silent, especially because the people there, the family, we're going to follow the story about of whatever, is capable of sign, talking by sign, signing. I don't know how you say that. And so they're capable of staying silent, etc. So they're going to go through stuff. Never mind, but it was interesting, but that ending, I don't know. If you've watched that show, no, that film, that's a film actually, please let me know because that ending, I, I never mind. I had some like uh, kidneys vibes, like just for one sec. And then after that, like bird box, because the ending was like, I don't know. So I'm gonna try to watch something else. I don't know what actually, but I just wanna relax while eating because it's actually 6 p.m. and I just finished everything I needed to do. And tomorrow I'm gonna spend the whole day with my grandparents. So I don't have any time during the weekends. Like I cannot relax during the weekends. So that's not okay. I'm still trying to figure out my schedule, etc. But yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna eat because I'm hungry and uh, try to find something watchable on Netflix and maybe some books I grab or whatever. Okay, Wolves, talk to you later. Hey Wolves, what's up? So it's Sunday, so I'm gonna wrap up that vlog. Um, so I started to uh, like set up, like prep or pick the items for the bookish box giveaway kind of thing. And I, I I felt stupid at one point because I was like, is this one better or this one? Would they prefer that one? And blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to ask you on Instagram to create the box yourself. So I will do that this week. So please, if you're interested in that giveaway and you want to participate in the choices, etc., etc., it will happen on Instagram. Uh, so it is the right Sasha. Same name as here. Uh, also, I took a few pictures for the Unplugged Book Box photo challenge, so I will do that. I mean, I will post a few pictures of that as well. And also uh, for the flash giveaway for the book, it will also happen this week. So lots of stuff will happen this week. So yeah, but as you probably already guessed, no reading done. Uh, yesterday I watched I'm gonna open Netflix here to see what I watched uh, yesterday, which I really, really enjoyed actually, 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 a horror kind of thing. Yeah, The Haunting of Hill House. Surprisingly, I don't know how come I haven't watched it like previously. Um, I'm currently on episode five, so I'm gonna continue with that because it's actually 6.35 p.m. and I got back like on one hour ago something like that no two hours ago and then i took the pictures i finished my laundry i took a shower and now i can finally relax it was a very busy and strange weekend long story short i don't even want to talk about it never mind maybe later um uh, whoops next week i would like to try to get back to reading uh, so I'm gonna try to read two best the boys and also I would like to read the bear and the nightingale two or even the darkest stars two so all the wandering lights and for the bear and the nightingale this is the girl in the tower yeah so I'm gonna try to do that I don't know what else to say there are so many books I would like to read like sky in no sky without stars as well it is a chunky book 
but I really love the cover and I would like to read the binding and master of sorrows and uh through the white wood and you know what so many books so I'm gonna see and maybe I will try to pick up like an interesting um audiobook but I really don't know which one I should start like script kept recommending me like not recommending me but saying that it is today's today's pick uh five feet of board by Apart, five feet apart by Rachel Lippincott. So I'm gonna try. I, I'm also tend to read or listen to Wild Card because I have the ebook, but I would like to try and finish that series. I think this is a duology. I don't know actually. I also would like to read Hunted and so many other stuff, but. I think I'm gonna try to listen to uh, the books uh, The Way We're Children and also I would like to read the new book I got by her Middle Game because I really want to read it but the thing is that it is a very tiny font and I feel like I need something easier and faster to get back to reading so yeah and also Lifelike I mean the sequel to Lifelike is coming in June so I would like to pick that one up as well and so many other stuff but spinning silver as well by naomi novik so many books like i don't even know where to start they have so many good like books on script like the day i started script i thought it would be like a very cheap version of audible or other stuff like that with no good choices but actually you have choices which i'm pretty impressed by the price okay it's true that if you actually save a lot of audiobooks in your profile you know if you save them then it's gonna block you after a little while but if you don't save them you will be able to uh, listen to more than just a few audiobooks which it's a little tip <laughs> All the crooked sand. Oh, side witch. Yeah, throw switch is the first one. I would like to read that one as well. And Reign of the Fallen, Grim Lovelies. There are so many books I would like to read. Oh, Unhurt uh, by uh, Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Spooner. Yeah, the sequel is out, so I would like to read the sequel as well. I think I'm gonna try to listen to the sequels. Oh, Zenith by Sasha Osberg and Lindsay Cummings. Mm. I don't know, I'm so scared to try that one actually because of everything I've heard about it, but... So many choices, sometimes I don't know what to do. Oh, Neil Gaiman. I could try something else by Neil Gaiman. I don't know, but whatever. So I hope your weekend was good and your week as well and that next week is gonna be even better. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. But yeah, well, I'm gonna stop here because otherwise I will be babbling and saying nothing really interesting. Thank you for watching this random vlog, non-reading vlog, watching vlog, like more like a Netflix kind of vlog. Yeah, and DNFing kind of vlog, whatever. So I really hope this vlog will be watchable, that you will enjoy it and yeah, if you do enjoy this vlog, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to watch more videos of mine, don't forget to subscribe to be a part of the pack. Yeah, but yeah, talk to me in the comment section as usual and I will talk to you super 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 soon, Wolves. Bye, take care.